welcome back to my channel um if you haven't watched my previous channels or previous sorry previous vid videos i'm emma martin and welcome to my channel thank you so much for taking time to come and watch my video today please subscribe on the button below and uh, if you haven't watched me before um i've been taking i've been documenting my um ivf journey and in my last video that i've just put out today um i did my two weeks wait so i kind of took you through how um, my two weeks wait went after um, uh, the embryo transfer and that was difficult and uh, in that video i did explain how i got it so wrong reading my pregnancy test kit and I got it so wrong, guys. I got it so wrong. And that's why I was going to say, the ladies out there, when you get, I was so excited and too emotional that I didn't take time to think through it because I didn't have the instruction. My first test was because I was using um, a leftover pregnancy kit that I'd used before. So I think I'd thrown away the instruction of the, of the kit. And so I didn't have the instruction. So I, I kind of went with what, you know, when you wanna read what you wanna read and that's how I read it. So I just want, if you want, if you wanna know how I did it, please watch my previous video. I will explain everything, the stupid part of me. But then in this one, I just wanted to show you the, what, what I was talking about. So this is the kit. This is the kit that I took on the first day. And as you can see from what I explained before, this is the control, this is the control um, window. This is the control window and this is the test window. So when I took the test, this this control window was there, that line was there. So I know with a control test that the line will be there, but this one wasn't there. And being stupid in me or being too excited, I wouldn't call stupid, I just guess you, you get too excited and you wanna read what you wanna read. In my head, I thought if this window here displays something, it means that's positive. And that's what I did. So I did my two, five minutes we on the on the on the stick, and then I waited for it. And guys, as you can see, that came pos that that was that kind of picked up, which is a control tick that worked. And when that picked up, I really thought that was the the result. So I got too excited. So this is the the test I took on the very first day, and I I slept that day knowing in my head that I was pregnant and very excited. And then on the second day, when I went to visit my acupuncture ladies, she's the one who told me you need to take a second kit. So this is the second kit, guys, that I took. As you can see, it's the same family as as these are the first one that I took. But with this family, this brand here, at least they've helped us by drawing here what is positive and what is negative. So if we don't have the instructions next time at least you know what is positive and you can clearly see that for it to be positive um to be positive is that this this window here has to have a cross and then this window here has to have that and my first one didn't have this cross so i got it so wrong guys I got it so wrong so when I took this kit the second day, as you can imagine, my eyes were like, I can't believe what I'm reading. I can't believe I remember going into the light putting this thing behind the white line just to see and i was seeing i remember telling my other half i can see a faint line a faint line that's gonna make this positive and this is why you need to have a supportive partner god he helped me he was like no darling no darling this is negative there is no positive here it's negative so i i, I still wasn't satisfied and i was still wasn't convinced that that was negative because the one before felt that it was positive so that was day um day eight so this one was day seven post um embryo transfer five day post embryo transfer and this was day eight five day po day eight post five day embryo transfer got that right and then I went back because I had everybody talking about the pink one, the pink one, um, uh, the fast response, which is the pink one that everyone was saying the pink fast response is the best one. Don't use the blue one. Um, I've never used this one. So I went and got this one again. And uh, as you can see with this one now, 
with the pink response it does it has it's slightly different from the other ones it has the the lines going down but for this one now so i think i probably got confused for this one now it's got to be two line if it's one line uh, it means that it's negative so you can see the difference so when you're using the kits just try and know what is what so this one has to be positive and, an, and a negative there and, a, and, a, and another sign well this one is just it, it just needs to have two lines you see so i as you can see for mine there's only one line which is the, um, the line to say the kit work but there's nothing in and that was taken nine days post uh five days uh, embryo transfer so i still wasn't satisfied i still wasn't like i still felt like no this is <laughs> there's something wrong here so i took this is the hospital one they're slightly different in the hospital um the hospital one they gave us they gave us two so i decided to use one kit of the hospital before the the test day and I thought if the hospital one comes, definitely comes negative, then it's got to be negative because I guess they will give you the best of the best to pick up any, even if they small HCG probably will pick up. So with the hospital one, as you can see, it's also the same as the early response, early response one, the pink one, it's just lines. So literally if you have lines on both, on both windows, it means you're positive. And if you have one line, it means you're negative. And mine as you can see is just one line so that means it's negative and I think I really got confused between the different type of pregnancy kits because some that one the first one you needed to be positive well I think I'm used to two lines means positive and one line means negative clearly that one is one line and then on the very last day when I was scheduled to take my test, I took again the other one. And as you can see, double confirmation that that is definitely negative. So I wasn't going <laughs> to hold on to that. And then before I took this last one, uh, I got my periods the day before. So that literally confirmed that. I was not pregnant so guys um just to warn you when you're using kits just make sure you know what is what this one is positive sign and uh, and the other line is means is you're pregnant the first response the pink ones it's two lines you know two lines to mean uh, pregnant and uh, this type here the hospital one i don't know if everybody gets the same but this is the hospital one the hospital one also means two lines so they are all so different and i got that wrong but hey we live to learn we live to learn so guys um i'm fine i'm taking it on my on my chin and i'm looking forward for my frozen embryo transfer and i'll update you on my next frozen so we are into cycle number two which is the frozen embryo transfer and we are very excited i think we're gonna be starting it in sometimes in june because they like you to have two bleeds one washout bleed which is the bleed out straight after the loss when it didn't take it didn't mine just didn't take there was no loss it just didn't take and then the natural bleed which is gonna be hopefully by the end of this month there's gonna be a natural bleed so i'm gonna start hopefully my schedule for frozen embryo transfer in the beginning of june so watch all my other channels or my other videos and please subscribe if you've got any advice any anything you can tell me any information or anything nice any good stuff i could eat so i could increase my chances please help me because um we are in a, we are this is a community where we help each other and we hope for the best for all of us and for all those ladies who are going through the same um difficult time of trying to conceive so guys i shall see you again in my next chat next video where i'll update you about my schedule for my frozen embryo transfer so until then god bless and see you soon